So earlier today we saw reports from a section of the media that Simon Bugwa, the Yala MP, had been arrested uh, in connection with the four goons that we saw assault, the ex-NCBDA boss was he arrested because later when I was with him, he inter I interviewed him and he said, yes, he gave a statement. After our interview, he was whisked away. Please give us a status update. Yeah, it's true. He was arrested. And uh, when he was arrested, uh, he requested to be allowed to sit in a place in an hotel. That's in the morning? Yes, mm -hmm. to be allowed to sit in a place in an hotel within our vicinity and uh, our officers were able to monitor him and see what he was doing for the purpose of uh, uh, getting the rest, uh, some of uh, the people who had been uh, accused of the same. And that was done on his request. So let me get this straight to clarify for our viewers. You got him in the morning. Under interrogation, he offered to go to a restaurant and call the individuals that assaulted Mr. Murioki. And wait for them and wait for them there. He got to that hotel. When I called him, he was at the hotel. I found him there with the Nairobi governor. So these individuals did not show up. And while I was interviewing the Nairobi governor, you then whisked him away. So where is he now? He's with the police. What is the intention? Now that he did not, according to you, fulfill his end of the bargain, what now? The issue is not feeling end of bargain. There was no bargain to it. You, the, the, the thing is you that... accepted his request to go yes, bring Yes, because them. it was important for us okay. to have all of them. And he said uh, he was with them. He was waiting for them to come. So we only felt it was proper to be decent and allow him to wait for them so that we could have him. So uh, when, they, when they were not coming and it was getting late, uh, we decided to take him to the right place. Is he being charged? If so, with what? Uh, definitely he will be charged. With what? With what you are sorting him for. The allegation we've heard is that he's the one who released or sanctioned this man to attack Mr. Morioki. Is that the charge you're also investigating? It's not proper for me to discuss evidence and uh, facts that will be discussed in court. Okay. It's not appropriate. I don't think that is right. There was outrage when this incident happened that broad daylight, media were there assaulting Mr. Morioki, threatening to push him into the swimming pool. And many are like, how is this happening in Nairobi, in Kenya, in broad daylight? What do you tell people? Uh, it's impunity uh, uh, that m many of us uh, try to uh, express every time, everywhere. So uh, those are some of the uh, implications of impunity in society when uh, they come up and uh, a kind of society or the people tend to entertain it. Have in, has anyone come out to offer information on this man because the police have said they'll give money to anyone who gives any information that could lead to their arrest? The men are known. Uh, I don't think uh, uh, we need much information. We'll arrest them. Why is it taking so long? This incident happened on the 30th. There are pictures now on social media purportedly of the men in a wedding uh, with the governor uh, Nairobi County. So they appear to be everywhere. In fact, in the interview, Mr. Mbugwa said they are known in City Hall. They are always there. Yes. So the police appear to not be aggressively going after these individuals. We are simply decent in the way we do our things, and we have to do them within the law. Even if you've made a mistake, uh, we have to, to, to look for you uh, in a decent way. So, and that is why when Mr. Mbugwa...